Welcome to Brothers MD. In this video, we will be discussing the Advance and Advance on Trials. The Advance Trial was published in the New England Journal of Medicine on June 12, 2008 by the Advance Collaborative Group. The Advance on Trial is a six-year follow-up study also published in the New England Journal of Medicine. It was published on October 7, 2014 by Sophia Zungas et al. Now let's have a closer look. The Advanced Trial The Advanced Trial compared lowering blood pressure to tighter glycemic control in patients with type 2 diabetes. The primary endpoints measured were all-cause mortality, cardiovascular cause mortality, and major macrovascular events. The study design. The study was a factorial, multi-centered, randomized controlled study. with a sample size of 11,140 patients. The duration of the study was five and a half years. The results. Lowering blood pressure with an ACE inhibitor perindopril and a diuretic indepramide reduced total mortality by 14% and cardiovascular cause mortality by 18%. Tighter glycemic control measured with hemoglobin A1c from 7.3 to 6.5 saw no risk reduction in total mortality or cardiovascular cause mortality. There was a significant reduction in the incidence of nephropathy in these patients. The advance on trial was a six-year post-trial follow-up to the original advance trial. It had similar defined endpoints as the advance trial with all-cause mortality, cardiovascular cause mortality, and major macrovascular events. The sample size of the study. Of the original 11,140 patients, 8,494 participated in the follow-up, and the duration of the trial lasted six years. The results of the blood pressure lowering portion of the trial, where a reduction of blood pressure was defined as a BP of less than 140 over 80 millimeters mercury, evidence that a total cause mortality was reduced by 9% and a cardiovascular cause mortality was reduced by 12%. However, this is less than the initial study which reached 14% and 18% in reduction respectively. Results of the tighter glycemic control portion of the study where tighter glycemic control was defined as hemoglobin A1c dropping from 7.3 to 6.5. No reduction in death with tighter glycemic control was found. However, there was a decreased incidence of end-stage renal disease with tighter control. The Conclusion Benefits in reducing mortality with blood pressure lowering therapy were attenuated but still evident in this trial. However, there was no evidence that tighter glycemic control reduced mortality. The advanced trial poses two questions. The first being, is there a benefit for starting type 2 diabetic patients on ACE inhibitors and diuretics? And the second being, does a tighter glycemic control of hemoglobin A1c from 7.3 to 6.5 reduce mortality? The results of these studies indicated that lowering BP did in fact reduce mortality in both studies. Tighter glycemic control was effective in reducing nephropathy and end-stage renal disease. However, there was no reduction in mortality in type 2 diabetics. For more information on these articles, please visit the links below. And thank you. 
for watching.